Hi everyone, back at Bastions. Hope you're well. I hope you're all keeping safe. Um, if you follow the channel, you know that a few months ago I um, invested in a Beretta DT11 and I said I would do a more detailed uh, vlog on this particular gun and the reasons as to why I purchased it. Uh, the DT11 is Beretta's flagship box lock competition gun. It has an Olympic pedigree, although I must admit I am not an Olympic standard shooter, as you probably guessed by now. Uh, but I have to say, I'm very, very pleased with this gun, very happy with the way I'm shooting with it. And I just sort of talk through the gun itself, what you get for it, and then, as I say, the reasons why I purchased it. So starting at the rear, it has a micro core pad. This is comes with two, this is the thicker one. It's 28 millimeters. Uh, I purchased, I, I put, sorry, I put this on the gun because I wanted a slightly longer length of pull. Um, the wood's very nice, I have to say. It's a grade three wood. Um, this is the 32 inch variant with the adjustable comb. Um, the fore end matches really well on the comb as well. The wood to metal fit is very good. Um, it is laser engraved. It has a lovely swept back uh, pistol grip, a really, really nice palm swell, which is actually on the other side because I'm left-handed. Um, and, you know, I have to say, yeah, I'm sort of really pleased with that. When you get to the action, this is where the gun changes from other competition uh, shotguns that Beth Beretta produce. Uh, it's a real chunk of an action. You can see that with the uh, action fences. But even just the... Uh, Barrel selector and the safety selector is way more substantial uh, than what I've had on any other Beretta. The top lever, funny enough, is the same top lever that I had in the 694. I'm not complaining because I think it's really, really well ergonomically designed. If you flip it over, you get to see the detachable, adjustable mechanical trigger. I'm not going to pull out this trigger unit. Uh, I haven't done it. I'm not going to attempt to do it uh, whilst filming. Uh, and I have to say, the pulls are very clean, very crisp on this gun. You can tell the difference between this and the 694. If we open the gun, continue with part of the action, you'll see the breech is also very substantial. And there are two lugs there that protrude, that lock in to the breech face, which also, as you can see from the receiver, has a cross bolt, uh, locking action there, which, and it's a real, real thud that comes into it. Um, it's not a clunk, it's not a click. You realize that this action is not going to give, it's not going to slacken off. It's designed to put a lot of cartridges through. Uh, moving on to the barrels, I'll take the forend off again. Very impressive forend, very substantial piece of wood. It is a Schnabel finished forend. I went for that because I want to feel the closeness to the barrels. You'll see the barrels are floated to begin with, then it's ventilated, then it's a solid mid-rib. So what they're doing is they're reducing the weight here, putting the weight at the muzzle, which I think is really important because you do need weight at the muzzle. You don't need uh, lightness at the muzzle on the barrels. A lot of shotguns tend not to do that. Uh, the barrels are bored to 18.7 and it actually has three inch chambers on the gun as well. The barrels are made from the Steelium Pro um, it, and they are, have forcing cones that are 22 inches. The barrel length is 32 inches. This does make a difference to the recoil. Um, it reduces the recoil action and it is very, very much noticeable. You know, you do not feel that the, as I say, the muzzle is going to flip up or the gun is going to be off to the left because I do shoot left-handed. Um, it comes with five sets of Optima HP chokes. The top rib runs from 10 millimeters to eight millimeters and is ventilated. Gripes with the gun. Well, the case it comes with is the same ABS case that you get with the 694. Uh, and I think Beretta would be a little bit mean there. You know, I think they could give a, a better case than what you get with a gun that costs several thousand pounds less. Also, it's only a grade three wood. Now I've said I'm happy with the wood, but most guns at this price point come with at least a grade five wood. You know, again, look at Beretta's own product range. The Silver Pigeon 5 comes with a grade three wood 
and that is substantially less in price than this gun. The thing is though, we're not really talking about the bells and the whistles uh, with the gun. You know, we're not talking about a better case. Is that gonna make you shoot better? Of course not. Is the wood gonna make you shoot better? No. Do I need some fancy engraving on um, the receiver? Of course I don't. If you want to do that, you can buy the double E, double L version of this gun. What we're talking about with this gun is the engineering. And this gun is beautifully engineered. It is a way more precise gun. It is far more measured than the Beretta 694 or any other previous competition shotgun that I've owned. It has improved my shooting. Now, why did I choose the Beretta DT11 as opposed to say the Blaza F3, the Parazzi High Tech S, uh, the Kriegov K80 Supersport. Uh, I am, will admit that I am a Beretta fanboy. I think most people will understand that who follow the channel. I think Berettas just shoot, just suit my style of shooting. However, what has happened over the last five years is that this gun, gun has gone up in price by a few hundred pounds. The other makers have gone up by thousands of pounds. If we went back prior to Brexit, the Blaza F3 was a gun that was cheaper than the DT11. Now it is the same price as Dira. The Parazzi was neck and neck in price with this DT11. Now it is several thousand pounds more. The Kriegov K80 Supersport was always a dearer gun. However, it is now a lot dearer. And that's the key point. I always keep saying this channel is about value. I actually think if you're after a top competition shotgun, this is incredible value. I think it's the best value at the moment out of all those aforementioned guns. And that's what really made me buy it. Wedded to the fact it is a beautifully engineered gun. Stay safe and stay tuned.